Hey, orange one here. So we are still part of the Northern Empire. Um, luckily, the Asari, they're at war with these guys now. So they're going to start kicking their butts pretty soon. Um, part of me is wondering if I should just avoid these guys entirely or what. I think we really should uh, try and um, take them out, you know? That really is what's going to serve us better is weakening the Vlandians as much as possible. Um, oh, so I have to send troops? Oh, it looks like I'm really hurt. Hmm. Uh, sure, send the troops. I think that we're going to take losses, unfortunately, but um, we'll take more of them than we lose, you know? And I think we do want to keep our, our allies kind of strong. Also, it's good in Bannerlord to also just get in fights. You just always get a little bit more experience, right? You know? I think that's like the the battle, though, that I'm, I'm kind of losing in this game is maintaining my number of troops. I just have not been able to do it. I think I really would benefit from having more uh, companions in my party. I just need to go out and find them. I just have not been prioritizing that. Okay, they did actually I kick our butts a little bit more than I would like. Um, is there somewhere I could rest up? And I could go to Epicrotia, which I think is probably a good move. Um, there's a number of them right there. That's actually... We want to be a little bit careful. Don't want to have them come up my way. I mean, I would love it if I could actually be in the fight and be able to like take that dude out, but I don't think we're going to be able to make that work. Let's just keep an eye on these guys from a distance. Um, and maybe, just maybe, we get lucky and we're able to pick off another lord. Um, there is quite a few of them. There is quite a few, though. So I think, really, the Asari, though, they're going to be very powerful. They've got like twice as much land or so. Let's just take a second to look at the... That's that's Vlandian. And they also have Ostacan up there. This is the Sari. Probably about twice as many cities. Like honestly, no joke. So, yeah. Um, Yeah, they just keep on coming, don't they? I'm gonna just let them and the... Uh, Sorry, just kind of kick the snot out of each other. <laughs> and hopefully they they might even take an Asari uh, castle or city. And if they do, I'm going to want to swoop in on that, actually. That might be a... That's the, the, best, the best move for us, is following them to, like, Diathma. And we're so close to Epicrotia. But I feel like... They're going to take Diathma, and then we can take it back from them, and they'll be, like, trying to fight this uh, Asari. Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe we'll get these looters to either join up with us, or no. Or they're too fast. Let's see if we can get some recruits here. Um, our companion did. That's good. I should also probably get food, because I think, yeah, we've only got seven day, 17 days worth of food. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, man. That is a real shame. Let's see if I can catch him. Yes, I can. Um, Actually, sure. I'm going to let you join. I need troops. Right now, I need, I need the troops. They're really crummy units, but they'll get experience. It's fine. Diathma, if I can make my way towards that. Uh, yeah, Heckard's been taken prisoner. I think Heckard may have been with other lords, other Vlandian lords up here. I kind of want to just, like, kind of kill a couple more out in the field. We're definitely not sieging a castle just yet. We're nowhere near there. Um, <laughs> can I... Uh, force them to give me recruits. Let's actually just look at how many recruits they have available. They have got a good amount of recruits. Yeah, give me um, 
Give me your recruits. I don't see why you're even resisting. There's six of you. Like, seriously, I could take this, uh, this city myself. I... Take over command. <laughs> yeah, you guys should be charging in. It, it does, like, kind of mess with me, because, like, sometimes I think I'm, like, playing old, uh, warband, and then I realize they're not just automatically running in. <laughs> Which is definitely better, but then I forget. Um, yeah, they're, they're dead. Better than losing some units. I know, it's like six here, but, like, why didn't you just send units in? Um... Let's see, I don't think we're going to be able to catch you, but we might be able to corner you in the mountain here. Oh, jeez. Severick. Rolling deep. <laughs> that is a big army. Are they chasing me? I think they're chasing me. Almost positive that they're... No, they're besieging Ostia. Um, maybe they are kind of chasing me? I don't know. How fast are they? They're really slow. Okay, so I'm fine. Yeah. I actually am interested to see if they take that. Munum of the Empire has been taken prisoner. Is there anyone? No, no one's really amassed any armies. Yeah, they definitely have a hard time trying to get their troops back up when they get like, knocked down like that. Well, the fact that they're trying to siege that other place um, is kind of a good sign. Slaughtered some animals to eat. So, yeah, how much food do we have? 14. It's kind of cool how it automatically does that. I like that. Just silver ore. There's no food. Seriously. Man. This whole area is... Uh, Really struggling with the food. I kind of feel like we should siege one of these places down. Oh, that one's place. That one place is already being sieged, and they're not trying to defend it. They're sending their like one thousand stack to another city. Yeah, so I think we should go for Reso's castle then. If they're not trying to defend something that's already being taken and was or is gone, yeah, and it's gone. <laughs> right, the little South Park meme. Ooh, this actually has 500 defenders. No wonder someone didn't attack this sooner. Uh, I would like to see if they have any food here, and then I'm gonna siege you. I don't think we got too much to worry about here. Uh, product. Yes, I will take all of your product. Thank you. Um, you won't give me the soldiers, so... Um, how many people are defending here? 52. I mean, to get the soldiers, we're gonna lose some people. And we have such a uh, significant um, advantage. I think I'm gonna do it. It also is gonna, I think, uh, make this area a little bit more impoverished. So if the siege doesn't go well, um... Then we're still hurting them, right? And I think that's what we want to do: is just kind of yeah! make these fringe uh, castles just a little bit weaker and weaker and weaker until we can take it. And then I need to just charm, charm so many lords. Hello, yeah, you guys can face the other way. Yeah, that's fine. You don't need to worry about me. You know. Okay, we did lose one person there, and now they're retreating. But actually, we only lost one person. Yeah, this is definitely a good return on the investment, then. Definitely a very good return on the investment in terms of troop numbers. These people are gonna be very confused. I just bought, like, all their supplies, and then was like, yeah, um... I'm taking some of your people to work in my army. And they're like, no you're not. And I was like, okay, well I'm killing those a few that don't. <laughs> like, are you a are you're definitely a bad guy, like, but okay. Yeah, doing a deal with the devil. Right. 
But we gotta make our own kingdom. It's for their own good. We'll bring justice to the to the people. Not democracy. Because, I mean, this is Banner Lord. It's not like Banner um, Society. Or, I don't know, <laughs> you know. I would defeat the point. Um, so, I've taken all of their supplies. I've taken their people as well. I kind of want to go back to this place. Um just to kick them down just a little bit more um or actually not really because they have um given me plenty of recruits yeah we're gonna need to not have a uh, cavalry right now we're gonna want a lot of people with shields and a lot of people with bows um yeah you guys are not gonna let me recruit anyone because i just made you give me people soldiers you have product though you do can i take all of it yes i can I have a good amount of food. Thank you. Um, I can't make you give me soldiers. Yeah, I think I just did that, so it makes sense. Okay, that's uh. Before we start, let's just get our cohesion up. Anyone else that can join us? Most of the people that are in our party, by the way, are the mercenaries that I've been um, fighting against in like all of the wars. And so now I've got this army of all these people who have been my enemy and I've killed a ton of their soldiers, you know? <laughs> and now they're like trying to help the Northern Empire take this place. You know, actually, yeah, I don't want to upset the sorry, but I was thinking I could just... Because um... what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to take this place for the Northern Empire um, and then take this army without putting anyone in here to the Lord, the King, and um, immediately go to war with the King and take this castle back. That's essentially the, the strategy. Or so something kind of like that, at the very least, is what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I think oh, I'm having to share food. We got 19 days of food. This siege might not go well if we've only got 19 days to do it. I think it will. It will. I think that we're... Um, it's looking promising right now. Jacqueline... Yeah, they're taking cities. Right. So the Vlandians uh, are going to be really, really hurting. They're going to have lords leaving. And then I'll probably be able to get those lords to join me. You know? Um, I would like to see just place down just a little bit, uh, because it's just going to make it easier for us to take it ourselves on the second round when we try and take it. If it's got a little bit worse defense, well, I don't know, maybe we want a castle with good defenses. I think our concern really is the amount of people that we are going to have, you know? Okay, so I'm going to actually get uh, the two trebuchets going and have the other stuff being built while those are being worked on. And I might actually maybe put that in the queue. We'll see how it goes. Okay, they're starting to send people. Maybe I'm not going to be able to siege this place down. I'm going to at least uh, hit the things with the trebuchets. But I do need to keep an eye out. On the Vlandians sending more people. Yeah, they already got 200 people there. That is concerning. But we are we are sieging things down. And if the Asari come by, or like take out, I mean they're taking out castles and cities left, right, and center. So I think this is a pretty low priority. So it's probably like only like this clan or something. Um, embers, precarious of the embers. Is this owned by the embers? Like if I go, if I search. Rezo's castle. You're not of the embers? No. Okay. Huh. Okay, well. Yeah, I wonder why those mercenaries are here as opposed to other more important targets. Well, this thing's about done, but we'll have another one up and going pretty soon. So I think I'm okay. 
I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, that is a shame. But I think that we are applying um, a good a, a good amount of force. Okay, we got our two trebuchets. Good. So we should be able to hit more. Come on. I believe in you. Don't let me down. Maybe let's not do the battering ram just yet. I think we need more trebuchet. Just to kind of take these their numbers down and their, make their walls hurt more. I mean, the thing is, is that we could, with two these two trebuchets, we could start working on rams and towers. Maybe that's the better move. Yeah, it's, uh, let's start getting some rams and towers because those things we can build and then use and then enemy lords will have to build that again. As opposed to if we take out the walls. Yeah, that might not be the best idea to just try and take out walls. There's 80, there's 120. And we do have like about twice as many people as them. And yeah, we're gonna be able to take that out pretty soon. And with that suppressed, then I'm I'm feeling pretty good. And look, we got more experience. And more troops. Very, very nice. How many days of food do I have? Army-wise, 16 days of food. Yeah, look, I have 37, but it's an army of 16 because lords just can't figure it out. You know? Um, oh, we got a little Ongar going. Nice. Cool. I'm down. Um, let's see. A few more troops. Man, if we can... Uh, if we can take this place for ourselves... Oh, we, right, we did actually want to hurt the walls, so we will keep on see doing siege equipment on it. But we may need to actually bounce uh, soonish. I am also keeping an eye on that. Yeah, those villagers are not going to be able to enter, which is awesome, because that's going to hurt their economy. Um, oh, look, they're going for the, the merchants there. That's cool. I like that. That's, that's pretty neat that they got it going in there. Um, I am going to just speed it up just a little bit. Okay, yeah. Because, okay, so that guy is right there. He has 80 stacks somewhere around here as well. I'm just trying to keep that in mind in case someone comes from that away to uh, to make our day bad, you know? Yeah, let's see if we... I, I, I think I do want to hurt the walls a little bit. Yeah, if we get, like, one of the holes in one of the walls, I think that's probably a good idea. So that we can take it later, basically. And we're going to have a hole in the wall, and we already have a tower. Yeah, so we've got tons of troops right now. Um, we're just going to spend a little bit of our influence right now on these guys. Actually, we're going to just go all the way up. Yeah. Uh, let's lead an assault, right? Let's do it. I'm excited. This is the first castle that we've taken for a faction that's not the Sari. And it's kind of for our faction. I mean, not really for our faction. It's for the, um, the Empire. It'd be kind of actually interesting to try and reclaim the Empire from the state. It's like the Byzantines, like, trying to take back Anatolia, you know? Which is actually perfect for like Turkey, you know, like a Turkish game, you know, like you're essentially getting to play in a little bit of like a Turkish world right now with like a crumbling empire. If we're talking about the Eastern Empire, right? Uh, that guy I would like to take out. Oh, he's aiming for me. Oh, yeah. he, he went, Oh, nope. That. I got a little bit overconfident there. I should not be doing that in a siege. Not when I'm gonna be needing to be leading attacks later on. You guys can get the tower up. I don't know if we really need the tower though with the hole in the wall. And we could just rush the hole in the wall by... I don't know, that is probably a bad idea to try and rush the hole in the wall. Hello guys, how are we doing over here? Man, we got tons of siege equipment firing right now. 
That's awesome. And I didn't do anything there. But it is actually hitting close. That archer up there. How are we doing up here? Have we got a ram? Yeah, a ram is doing good. It's like fully intact. Oh, well that guy's not fully intact. And we got the little uh, texture glitch there. And the part of the wall that's destroyed. Great. Well, at least the frames are good. The frames are very solid right now. I'm very happy with that. I think um, this build is, is a little bit more up to date in that regard. Where did those arrows come from? There's one, a couple up there. I feel like there's probably some dudes in here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought I was safe. I was not. Going in those slits. Um, oh, these guys up here. Yeah, it would be nice if we could take them out. Oh, man, come on. There we go. Aw. <laughs> Aw. Come on. I'm gonna get off my horse. I think I'm just gonna be able to aim a little bit better on foot. Yeah, throw those things at him, dude. Uh-oh. There goes the frames. For a second there. I think we're trying to take walls now. There we go. That guy's down. And... Give me that arm. No? Okay. Um, I think... If I can get into the walls... I'm gonna oh, no. Oh, jeez. What happened there? I think some siege equipment just hit our own troops. That was bad. That was really bad. There was a ton of people who just died there. Maybe we're trying to take the walls in uh, the hole in the wall or something, and like some of the siege equipment fired. Oh, that was not even close. And this wall's pretty much done. There we go. Go get them, boys. I'm gonna heal, though. So. Yeah, I'm not going in there. That dude's like, seriously? <laughs> I... They're just gonna hack away with their little sticks. Um... Are we on the walls? No, we are not on the walls yet. They still seem to be controlling the walls. Kind of. Oh man, we just hit another... I wish there was a way for me to say stop firing the siege equipment. Maybe I should have done that before the siege. Oh, hit him. That's pretty good. I can't believe we hit like our own guys twice there. Twice. Okay, I think we hit them right there. It looked like maybe with some siege equipment. Gonna get in. Thank you. Oh, you guys have already finished it all basically. Oh, look, there's some of our guys over there from the hole in the wall. Hello, we're coming for you. Man, this would be like so terrifying being inside of a city that's being sieged down just for like weeks, knowing that people are coming in trying to kill you and like take everyone in the city, you know? Oh. I am getting a couple good hits in there. I wasn't expecting it, but I don't think I'm gonna do from here on out. It's just gonna be too hard to get in there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I knew I shouldn't have done it. That was really dumb. I tried to go for it after I said that I'm not gonna be able to get in. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're done though, right? Just gonna hide in this. And they'll come up, they'll be like, My lord, we've taken the walls. <laughs> Okay, congratulations, Northern Empire. You have a castle that I will be soon be taking from you. Um, as many prisoners as I can take. We're going to just basically chase off the lords that are around here. And hopefully the, the um, king himself is going to probably come to here. I would imagine. And if you have one place to defend and it's got no one in it, you'd probably do that, right? Um, yeah, and obviously the logical thing here would be for me to, uh, put some troops in there, but we're not going to do that. I don't want there to be troops in here. I'm going to be taking this, like, really soon. 
I just need to make sure the Vlandians don't get it. So I'm just gonna hang out here, basically. Um, Ox Hall is being... Oh, man. They're getting crushed. Man. Look, that's done. That's being taken. I think they've probably taken a couple castles. I think this and that have been taken. So, like, I'm already in the middle of Asari territory, and the Asari king kind of likes me. So, uh, yeah, if if we make this work, we could, uh... Okay, someone just put some troops in there. Uh, who are you? No, the other one. I know who you, one of you are. Yeah, okay. If I'm looking for my lord, if I go to kingdoms, we're the Northern Empire. Lucan, where are you at? Six days ago he was at that castle. Well, he's gotta be coming here. I really do think that. Yeah, look, like, all the lords are coming up over here. So we just need to look for, uh... Our, our supreme leader. <laughs> Look, they're all like, oh, we have a village! And then I'm like, oh yeah, I like killed their defenders like a couple days, like a few days ago. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's... It says he's the new owner of Rezos. Yeah, so he's given it to himself. Which is to be expected. But where is he? That's the question. That's the million dollar question is where on earth is Lucon? Uh that that place is being sieged. That's a shame. I'm actually not gonna defend it because um Yeah. I, I'm I'm just a little bit nervous that I'm gonna have a tough fight trying to take the castle, seeing how my party have only got like a hundred people. I have to basically just say, "Hey, give me all your troops." Actually, why don't I do that right now? Why don't I go to like, uh, not Callan? You're a really good leader, Komar. Um, talk to the party leader. Hey, um, let me inspect your troops. Give them all to me. And, um, why don't I go to clan and go to parties and disband that army? Yep. And I'm going to ask you to, well, go on then. Oh, you're going to that castle? That's, yeah, that actually kind of makes sense. Man, they all just popped out of there at the same time. Kind of crazy. Do you guys actually have troops now? No, they don't. And they're giving troops to this place, which is not good for me. They, look, it already has 100 people defending it. It's already going to be annoying for me to try and take. But I'll just keep these guys kind of locked in with me for now. I, You know, I'm proud of that. We took... A castle with a faction that literally was landless like that in of itself is admirable now if for whatever reason um, we can't make our own kingdom maybe I will uh, help out the Senate I don't know I haven't really I haven't really made up my mind yet yeah where are you it says you're last seen near that castle Oh, you're far away, so you're just taking days to get over here. I see. And, like, no one in our faction has seen you because our faction is, like, non-existent, essentially. Okay. I got it. I got it. I think. Man, if we could... Yeah, if you guys could maybe charge him, then I could get him. But it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. Yeah, they're just too much of cowards. And they have plenty of people if they actually would coordinate their movement, you know? Like one party. Though they can't join an army, so like the AI just like doesn't know what to do. It's kind of ridiculous, because it's like in the real world, you would just be like, all right, let's just all like come together, right? 
I think we do want to maybe fight these guys a little bit. Can I kind of corner that dude? Yeah, at this point, this castle can actually defend itself. So I think we're going to try and kill this, this Ombre. And maybe, maybe. Oh, the Sari and the Vlandians have made peace. Uh-oh. <laughs> that means they're going to be coming for us. Oh, man. Well, maybe the Northern Empire is going to need a little help here. Because they're about to get their butts kicked. And maybe I could go to war against... Um, yeah, I think we're going to need to go to war against Lucon. Where are you, dude? Like, you're like... We will take back the land for the Senate, and then, like, some land gets taken back, and he's nowhere to be found. Um, here we go. Can I corner that dude? I think we can. Is this... No. I thought, I thought that was our lord. Yeah, we're just too slow right now. That really is our problem. You know, with... 600 we could probably hold this castle against a pretty big army so we could actually maybe maybe I'm not saying it's gonna uh, be a safe thing but we might be able to um, stop uh, the Vlandians if they tried to siege this place hey, hey. hello Oh, we might be able to get this guy to join up with this faction. I don't know why I'm doing that, because I really want to charm you later when uh, I'm trying to do it for my own faction. But honestly, if we can weaken the Vlandians and strengthen the Northern Empire, that might be good for us? I don't know. Yeah, in any case, that didn't work out. Okay, well, let's let's take this dude out pretty quick, and then we'll be done. Should just be a pretty quick fight, though. We do have like five times as many of them. Yeah. Sergeants, take command. Go. I mean, they do have a number of people though, so it will take a, a little while to take all of them out. But once we engage, it's gonna go quick. I, I'm not gonna do like what I was doing, where I was like micromanaging everything. I and mean, we could do that. But I mean, when you have five times as many of them, eh, is it really worth it? You know. And the answer probably is yes, but like I said, I can't wait to just get this done. <laughs> yeah, we just already lost someone there. And these guys, they're kind of... they're not really looking at me. Oh man. There we go. I think it was this guy that we hit, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, there your troops are coming for me, bro. I think. <laughs> oh man, I love that. It's way too much. Are you archers? Oh no, they're archers. I need to keep the hill between me and them then. Yeah, they're 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 gonna get pulled into the fight pretty soon. Okay, we have 300 something troops against 65 and it looks to me like they're charging us. Guys, like, just get in there. You literally have like five or six times as many of them. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna start retreating. The frames are dropping, you're killing so many of them. Oh God, that was gross. <laughs> that was so bad. I think those archers were going towards the fight, so I think they're still actually trying to trying to win, like uh, take people out. Yeah, they're oh, they're pel pelting me pretty bad there. That's well, better me than my friends, right? But you guys are so dead. Valiant, valiant effort. What do you have to say? Bush came to shove. These guys, uh, they they did stand their ground pretty well. And they're veteran units, some of these guys, so it did, does kind of make sense. I, I don't know, does that 
work like that? I think the more experienced ones have better morale and will actually hold the line better, right? And that's like the whole point in real life of having the more experienced troops is that they'll, um, they're not going to mentally break under the stress, you know? Um, yeah, let's just run down the last few. I know I said I wanted to be quick, but it just takes like 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, are they all gone? They're all gone. Okay. Yeah, we're good then. Okay, that, yeah. Um, <clears throat> prisoner? Yeah, you're the leader of um, a faction that I kind of want to try and convince to join me. So if I can keep you in my party, I'm going to do that. Um, oh, I... Oh, my troops are over it, its limit. That's... Wait, hold on. What's going on there? Okay, yeah, we just need to get rid of a few people. Do I have those looters still with me? Yeah. Let's get rid of you guys. All of the wounded. Is that good now? Yeah, that's good now. Okay. Yeah, those looters actually, um, that was a pretty nice timing for us. It worked out very nicely being able to get those guys into the army and just bolstering our numbers a little bit. Now that I have that guy in my inventory, or er, a uh, prisoner, I'm not Oh, look, there's Lucon! <gasps> okay, well, we you know what's happening in the start of the next episode. <laughs> Alright, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.